I'll tell you my formula for writing a scientific paper. Everyone always agrees with me and then goes away and does something else. The first thing you do, the first thing is you, you do is you put your data set together, your results, okay? So you've been doing these experiments and you've done these experiments because you started with a particular idea, then maybe that idea didn't quite work out but it took you somewhere interesting and so forth and so on. And then another experiment works. So you start with the results, you write out the results, you look at the results, you live with your data, you commune with your data, you talk to your data. Uh, your flatmate may think you're mad, but uh, uh, then after you've sort of tried to work out what the results say, you, you actually write the results section. Then the next thing you might write is the discussion. And you're not discussing the whole of science, you're discussing your results. You're discussing why those results are important, why, what you think they tell you, okay? Oh, you've already written the methods, that's the most boring part. Yeah, that's really dull, but, but you've got to write it and it's got to be reasonably okay. Okay, then you might write the abstract. And then the very last thing you write is the introduction, which says why you did the experiments. You never write the introduction first in the sense of what you did to start these experiments. You never write an introduction that says, well, we thought this and we tried that and it didn't really work and then we tried that. I mean, that's the last thing you want to do. You want to come across to the reviewer of your paper as all seeing, all knowing and terribly clever which is not true, of course. I mean, it may be true for you, but not true for me. And basically, so you've got your results, you've got your discussion, you've got your abstract written, then you write your introduction saying why you might have done those experiments to get those results. But, but as though that's why you did it that way. Okay, so you introduce, you introduce what it is you want to say. You don't introduce in the sense of describing how you went about it. Okay. Now, it's been understood for a long time, and Peter Medawa pointed it out very elegantly. This is actually pretty fake. But actually, it's, it's not in a way, because what you're doing in science is, there are so many papers published, and you've got to sell a story which says something to someone and is interesting. And, and therefore, you've got to make it consistent, and you've got to be able to read it. So the most difficult thing for young scientists is often writing. Um, there, are, there are other things to do. I mean, there's, uh, uh, be concise. Don't repeat yourself a lot. Don't be contradictory. Um, good idea is write your first draft, then go, go ahead and take out 30% of the words. It'll never look worse. 